All right, next matchup uh, looks like uh, we're looking at freaking Andy versus Zeriab. This is a match between a couple of head heavy hitters right here. Um, Kellen, thoughts on uh, Andy versus Zeriab? You know, Andy, he's been a you know quick to rise deathmatch player. He um, very confident, let's say, about how his how he plays. He he believes that he should be like a top eight level player. And sometimes you see flashes of that out of him. I think he could be a really great player if he keeps working on his game. He needs to maybe change a few things here and there. But I think uh, I expect, yeah, I definitely expect freaking Andy to go pretty far. Zeriab, though, he's an old Quindy player. He's been in our team for a couple of years now. However, he also was inactive for well over a year until recently. He's been trying to get his game back. He, I think, just finally climbed back over 2K on the DM1v1 ladder. Um, but I don't know if it's going to be enough this time. My prediction would probably be for three to one for Andy. Wow. Now, Tommy, word on the street is that freaking Andy is not really focused too much on the matchup because he's been busy hanging out in Canada selling Canadians uh, lemons and then uh, running away. So uh, um, <laughs> do you think that uh, freaking Andy is going to be able to take out Zeriab, who is – Obviously a tough matchup, or do you think uh, do you think the German can get it done? So I'm gonna. I believe he's Austrian, actually. Actually, Austrian. Oh. I, I apologize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His his family used to uh, sing him Edelweiss before he would go to sleep every night. So that's how I know. <laughs> um, so I do believe I do believe like that Andy can beat Zariab. The problem I have saying it because I do think he will beat him, but. Zaryab, I remember from HD, and he was just dominant. So it's like to watch a guy that you thought was always the best player in the world for like two years to say, oh, he's going to lose in the next round. It just seems like it's an oxymoron. Is it possible that both of them will find their way into the tournament, Kellen? Because I'm not really sure how the whole seeding thing works. But the way the way it works is a double elimination bracket, and the, la yeah. the last two to survive this bracket will move on. So even if freaking Andy beats Zeriab, Zeriab will then go down and play the winner of Doubt and Triple Bless. And if he were to win there, he would then move on to the final stage. So I, I I'm going to make a prediction that it this game matters just for bragging rights, but I do believe that both of them will wind up going on anyway. All right, I am actually going to take Zeriab 3-2 in this matchup. Ooh. I've seen him training what? a lot recently. I haven't seen freaking Andy in the Discord too much training recently. Maybe he's been doing it and hasn't been in there. But, yeah, I think Zeriab's been on a, a streak of just uh, playing against a bunch of people, 1v1s nonstop. He's been training with me. And <laughs> wait, jo wait, Joro's here? He's been training with me. I've been doing three-minute games. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is the first one that we disagree on. I'm taking Zeriad 